Hello and welcome to a Mothership Maintenance Blog. This one will be familiar to most animal owners. It's the bolt that attaches the base of the mainmast foil to the inmast furling mechanism. Over time, the bolt that attaches the foil to the inmast furler mechanism wears an elongated hole in the foil itself and sometimes actually cracks the foil and breaks the base off. So this maintenance video is how I repair that fault and reinforce that area. Um, about a year ago, you might have seen that uh, when we were in Denia, sailing up the east coast of Spain, um, I had a problem with the manual furler, which I had to take apart and put back together after sourcing the parts from the UK and getting them sent out. It was a, it was a mission. But uh, at the time, I noticed that we had this creep in the foil where the, the uh, bolt goes through and has been turning over time and basically grinding itself out a little elongated hole. So I thought I'd check it again. Uh, what is it now? February? Uh, almost a year later, the polyester filler that I put in there had all cracked away and I kind of suspected that would happen because I had no actual binder at the time um, and it was a temporary fix. It has kind of cracked away and it's kind of broken away and it's just fallen out basically. It was too brittle, it's just all chipped away like glass. And that plastic tube I put in is pretty much disintegrated. So that obviously wasn't strong enough. So with the um, foil in the state that it's in, I don't think an epoxy repair is actually going to cut it anymore. So what I'm going to have to do, I think, is cut off the end and re-drill that hole. But this time I'll put the uh, aluminium sleeve in and I'll epoxy around it. To cut the bit off the end of this one, I'm going to have to drop the whole thing. And I was a bit worried that it wouldn't actually drop once I'd taken the sail off. But actually, while I've been fiddling about with it and doing various things, it's dropped itself. And it's dropped over two and a half centimetres. So I know that there's enough play in there to do it. So it means I actually won't have to take the sail off to do it. I'll pull it down as far as I can, pull it out, I'll angle grind it off and then drill, epoxy it and put the uh, sleeve in and then I'll shimmy it back up and then drop it back in place. That's the plan today anyway. So if that's not clear, what I'm going to do is drop the foil, cut about 25mm off the end of it, re-drill the bolt hole and then put it back in place. It slides up and down quite easily. So I'm going to pull it down just enough so I can get it out and then I can get the grinder to it. So what I'm going to do is going to put a jubilee clip around the end just to act as a collar and a guide to, uh, to guide the angle grinder. So this hole will be big enough to take a 10mm diameter tube in the foil which the bolt will then fit through. First a pilot hole and then a 10mm hole to fit the aluminium tube. So I've got a nice size hole there um, and this uh, aluminium piece that uh, I went down the local chandlers and they were really helpful. Um, I asked if they got anything like that and the woman in the reception just popped out to the back, talked to the guy in the workshop and uh, two minutes later she came out with that which is perfect because it fits that hole absolutely perfectly. So that is going to be my sleeve to put in the foil. So I need to trim it off a little bit so it fits into the, uh, the foil retainer, but uh, that's perfect. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to solidify its uh, position in there with uh, plenty of epoxy filler, which is this stuff here. And this time it's got actual fiberglass fibers in it, so it's got a binder in it, which hopefully should work. It's actually polyester filler, but it's basically the same thing. So I just needed to trim it a little bit to fit inside the foil retainer. I'm just sealing up the ends with a bit of masking tape so uh, put the epoxy in. So that's the foil retainer on the manual furler in which the foil sits in. 
This is a polyester resin which actually contains fiberglass pieces. See that? So it already contains the binder. So that should hold together a lot better than the uh, just the resin itself. So I got this at the uh, catering department of the local Chinese shop uh, and it's for um, injecting sauces into meat. We can use that to force the polyester resin into the uh, gaps. So I'm just going to widen the hole on that one. So then I mix the polyester resin with the hardener and then put it in the syringe. So then it was just a matter of squeezing it in so it spreads out to fill that void. And the other side. I underestimated the volume inside that void so I quickly had to mix up another batch and squeeze it in before the first batch actually went off. So just before it dries completely I'm going to uh, re-drill that hole. So I'm just going to put the insert in place now. And it was a nice tight fit. So then I fitted the foil retainer back onto the manual furler. and check the holes were lined up. And then fit the furler to the mast, which was easier said than done. Because the furler has four Delrin spacers that fit between the outside of the mast and the actual manual furler itself. And the bolts have to fit through the mast, through the spacers and into the manual furler. Could have made it easier to put this in. So after many, many attempts, I've got the manual furler to fit. 
and fitted the top bolt which connects the foil to the retainer, which again is very fiddly. And then attaching the sails. Then I decided the second pair of hands might be a good idea fitting the electric filler to the whole system. So this is a much easier job with two people because somebody can hold the motor in place while somebody puts the little uh, the Delrin uh, bushes in there and uh, get the screws in but the, the secret to doing this job is not to tighten it up too much because the, um, the Delrin ring which is around the top of the motor is quite delicate and if you put it in too tight then the threads just go. In fact one of these is kind of on its way out already but uh, next opportunity I get I'm going to get those Delrin rings remade and uh, re-threaded. So if you want to see how the whole thing fits together and works then check out the manual furler repair blog that I did earlier. That's it. Everything's in place, that means that the foil is now really solid. It's got the aluminium inset in, it's surrounded by a polyester paste and uh, everything's back in place so we're ready to go. Yay! 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 So if this maintenance blog or any of the blogs have saved you time or a few pennies and you're the type of person who likes to return a favour then you can buy me a beer by following the Patreon link or the PayPal link in the description below. <laughs>